I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 309, where I'm going to show you how to select or return the smallest non-zero value from a list of cells in Quantrix Modeler. I have here a model that has a list of machines and then some sort of metric associated with the machines. I'm going to call it fill priority, and these fill priorities have ratings. And what I would like to do over here in matrix 2 is I would like to return the smallest non-zero value to be in my minimum value. How do I do that using Quantrix? I would go out and say minimum value is equal to the min select s. Select s is a conditional select statement. And what I would like to return is I would like to return the rating where my uh, range or what is my test range it's where the rating uh, does not equal or is greater than I guess would be a better way to put that and I think I put this in double quotes greater than with an ampersand and I put zero if I go ahead and I execute that then you would see that indeed three is my minimum value here in machine one if I were to go ahead and make fill priority maybe 1, I would expect to see 1 be there. If I were to get rid of the 1 and get rid of the 3, then I would expect 4 to be there. Excellent. So that's how one way you would do it with this min select s, which, it can, which is a condition. Also, you could go in and say that another way to do this would be min select greater than. And again, what do I want to return? I want to return the rating. Uh, what is my key list that I want to look up against? It's rating, and I want the value to be greater than zero. And if I go ahead and I do that, so I would get the exact same results. Again, let's say I went down here to machine two and I put like in a tenth of a percent as my rating. You would then see that that tenth of percent indeed comes back as it should. If I were to go ahead and delete all these, then my min would be 1. Again, because I'm not returning blanks, uh, I'm returning the first non-zero value in my list, the minimum non-zero value. So that's uh, two ways that I would select or return the smallest non-zero value from a list using a select S, which is conditional select, or a select greater than. If you have any questions about Quantrix, of course, you can reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. And I hope that you will do that. And I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority, because I indeed want to make you a Quantrix master. Today's podcast is brought to you by... QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.